we're going to get into the show. It's called uh, I Aspire to Be a Massage Therapist. And at this point in time, there are a lot of individuals who need a massage because it's so, uh, with, with, with what's going on with the uh, pandemic and everything, it's tensing everybody out. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Hi, my name is Emily and I also have a YouTube channel called um, Emily's Journey with Blindness. So um, I post all kinds of content like book reviews, tech reviews, and some lifestyle content. So um, y'all feel free to go check um, that out. But um, I am wanting to be a um, massage therapist. I am currently in the process of I'm applying to a couple of different schools and talking to my state agency for the blind to get funding for that and so um that's what i'm trying to do and i think massage therapy is a cool career because it's um, a hands-on career field and you get to help people along the way at the same time so i think it's an awesome career field to look into okay well emma don't stop there tell everybody why you decide to not just sit at home and collect SSI checks and whatnot because you know off camera you were telling me a lot of other things that you were doing so just tell everybody what what is what inspired you to just be you know a person who is just doing things um what inspired me not to just sit at home and collect SSIs I feel like you know um at least for me that you know the world is not always the most accessible place for people who are blind and visually impaired that there's a lot that needs to be changed and the only way that we can change that is to go out there and do things so that's like one of the reasons why i decided to start this youtube channel or my youtube channel and do things like that and i feel like um you know the only way that people's perceptions are going to change is if you go out there and do stuff and you know live a normal um, life and so um, and I just love the idea of helping people so um, that's another reason I'm going into massage therapy is I just love helping people and so I feel like between YouTube and massage therapy I get to help people in all kinds of cool ways okay well get ready to use your hands because with your hands and your upper body and things like that and what better person to talk to you about that is none other than christy christy has been a regular on the shizzo so with that being said christy why don't you briefly introduce yourself and tell everybody what you do uh so i'm christy like you said and um i have been on the show before i went to school <laughs> For massage therapy in 2018 uh well beginning of 2019 and originally i went to you know traditional college it's kind of the thing to do in this society um but university setting was was it, it just didn't cut it for me so i um i wanted to be in a smaller setting that's what i was used to going to the school for the visually impaired um it's not it's not as crowded and as much people as, as the smaller settings in the blind schools so when i went to unitech uh it, it was very welcoming and it was it was small it was that small classroom one-on-one -on -one instruction type of setting that i was used to so um i think that had a major role in my success with the program and uh and I'm just trying to get my license. Um, I'm I'm not really satisfied with the accommodations that they offer, uh, but I wouldn't say it sets you up for failure. But it's not the most appealing, uh, especially to us that prefer to uh, read Braille and whatnot. A lot of people that lose their vision, or or people that even know Braille, a lot of them have put it down because of technology 
and uh, technology is no excuse to be illiterate. So that that's why I stand on that. But as far as uh, education, I used Braille, and um, you know, combined with screen reading software and whatnot. But okay. that's what got me into it mainly. Uh, I got into it because of the smaller setting, the one-on-one -on -one instruction. Um, and like she was saying, it is very hands-on. Um, there's a lot of material. Uh, I will say the most complex part of massage school is the kinesiology, physiology, anatomy, pathology. Uh, you would get you would get used to all the ologies and all the terminology, but it um, that that makes it more of a, a clinical medical aspect. But as far as that, uh, it's, it's better than sitting at computers and and, and learning. Uh, engineering or, or software uh, management and whatnot. So it's very much hands-on. Uh, you get to move around. You get to meet new people with different personalities and, and hope. Um, that, that's another big thing. A lot, a lot of, you have to be, you definitely have to be a people person to uh, get into massage therapy. And you will have weird experiences. You will have, you will most definitely have uncomfortable experiences, uncomfortable comments from people. Um, especially with people taking the field inappropriately sometimes um massage therapy has been a, a cover-up for sex trafficking and and uh prostitution it, it's something that people don't want to touch on but it's true so there there are a lot of creepy weird people in the world but i've also um <laughs> tried to emphasize on my journey in life that all people aren't bad all people aren't out to get you especially as visually impaired people we have to sometimes take a chance when we get to know people or, or go out and do this and that. But everybody's not tar uh, trying to target you, but also everybody's not, you know, trustworthy, good people, so. Okay, great point. <laughs> I guess okay. that's kind of where I stand on the therapy. Okay, well, Emily, you got all that information within, uh, you know, a couple of minutes. Take a breath, a uh, deep breath, and um, I'm gonna ask you if you have any specific questions that you want to ask Christy uh, about uh, going through massage uh, therapy school? 